Hello, everybody. Here we go. We're ready to go with another one of our programs on a Monday. Let me just check to make sure we're going on here. Uh, yeah, get, getting out there to everybody. That's right. Okay. I'm not making the same mistake this week that I made last week, which is not making the show public. We seem to be up and running. So let me just admit all these people who are waiting to come on here with bated breath and anticipation. Uh, let's see here. Who do we have? Oh, we have Shecky. Hello, Shecky. Uh, hello, Mike. Hello. hello there, Steve Bender. Hello, Edward Berger. Hello. The cartoon voice it is, Edward <laughs> Berger. And uh, Andrew Deutsch so far. And let me uh, add Leonard LaFrisco here. He is coming on. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I hope he's going to join. Mm. Mm. Wet my whistle. How are you all doing today? Good. Really well. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Good to have you here. Uh, uh, oh, wait a minute. Here comes Mandy. Okay. Admit Mandy. Uh, I bet she's at work today because, yeah. Uh, turn yourself uh, sideways there, Andy. There we go. Okay. <laughs> you're, at work, you're at work today. Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. Well, Back to the old run. When it, whenever you have to do something, just go do it, you know. Oh, yeah. I, everybody's on vacation now, so oh, I, won't get, I won't get interrupted today. Why is everybody on vacation? Is this vacation? My or? boss is in Puerto Rico, yeah. living it up, and the other, they're both just out of town. No. With Ted Cruz? Is he with Ted Cruz? Yeah, he's with Ted Cruz. <laughs> so, that was that nice. no, she went to visit her son and it was very well deserved, trust me. She works a lot. Yeah. Don't you work in an accounting firm? Huh? Don't you work in an accounting firm? Not a firm. I work at a I work for a real estate company. Oh, okay. And she um, I was gonna say taxi is a good time to take vacation. No, but it, and it's been a crazy <laughs> six weeks with urine stuff. So yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. We still got to do urine type stuff, but we're not going to count. Sounds that. like you're saying urine type stuff. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> our urine. But that must be a southern accent. That it's was, my southern <laughs> accent. That was a piss poor comment. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> hello to my old friend, Shecky. How are you doing, Sheck? Very good. Did you see the governor came up with a new shiny coin today? Yeah, he I he went I went to his thing today and then I turned it off because I said I'm sick and tired of this. Uh he, sure. he was opening up a new uh a new mass vaccination center. No, 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 no. Movie theaters. Oh what? Oh. Two weeks. Two weeks and we get movie theaters back. Fifty people per screen. <laughs> <laughs> What it, if it's a small theater and only 40? Wonderful 50 people. Boy, I can hardly wait to see what the price of popcorn is. Right. <laughs> All right. So then we figure, what do you think? A month, legalized pot, six mm. weeks, legalized gambling. Um, Beautiful. What else, what else can we get for a nursing home debacle? <laughs> Free barbecue and water. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> so he's opening up to movie theaters now. I think he's opening up movie third theaters? or fourth. Third or fourth, and, and only 50% capacity or 50 no, people? And for 50, 50 people per screen. So if he's opening up indoors, is he opening up stuff like indoor concerts? No. 10%. No, no he's saying that. It's going to be indictment. How about, broad, how about Broadway <laughs> theater? No, that's I'm, going to jail week. Madison Square Garden's opening at 10%. <laughs> 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 I heard Wiener, Wiener was hoping for lowering the age of consent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by, by the way, Charlie, Charlie down in Austin finally got, got power again. And, yeah. Yeah. And he, hopefully he'll, he'll, he'll be able to get internet and get back in the group. I, I was just rapping with him by, by, by message. Yeah. And then probably a $20,000 bill for the electricity. Yeah. Right. No, right. he won't because he had no power, but uh, he's sopping up all the pipes broke inside the walls. And oh, we, well, you know who got these these the twenty thousand dollar bills and fifteen thousand dollar bills? Oh, here comes Charlie. Is it oh, good. Heck, now oh, good. That we're talking about him. we 
Uh, hello, Charlie. We were just talking about you. Just talking about you. Here's your ears burning. Charlie. Uh, hey, you look worn out, man. <laughs> <laughs> it has not been a fun week for me. Oh, God. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, outside of, well, you could have joined T uh, Ted Cruz and gone to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, assuming I could get to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I spent, I spent 13 hours yesterday sopping up water from my floor. Because oh apparently uh, the water from the burst pipes last uh, week had frozen in the walls and it finally got warm enough on Saturday for that water to melt. Uh, uh, so won't you get black mold from that in, inside the walls unless you... I'm sure we will get something, but all I had to do was try and save. I didn't want all my stuff to get wet. So You know, 10 years ago when there was a big hurricane in Texas, they knew that the grid and they knew that the system was terrible mm -hmm. and yeah. they warned them 10 years ago to get yep. it updated. They got the cheap electric wind fans and they were yep. never on any grid. No. Well, that's oh, because they chose Texas. to ignore it. Well, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's here's what happened. Number one, Texas didn't want to get on the grid because they didn't I want just to said that. federal regulations. Yeah. They didn't want right. federal, federal regulations. regulations. Yeah. Uh, well, read them. Yeah, uh, that was that was for starters. Okay, that was ten years ago. The, the, the wind turbines froze up because they didn't buy the ones that don't freeze up. They bought they didn't have the heater down. Exactly, they bought the cheap ones. And what are and they the trying wrong. to blame? What are they trying to blame this on? The it's green all new deal. deal. All the all green, new, the deal. green new deal. The green new deal. All the green new deal. Which they haven't even done yet. <laughs> well, our our goal was to turn the state blue. I just didn't expect it to be the lips of everybody who froze. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, very good, Ed. Oh man, very good. Oh man, is there a single human being who believes Ted Cruz's story about this trip? Oh my god! Oh god! god. What's well, the story? I, I think what I think was really just not decent of me. Tried to pass himself off as a good parent. Yeah, but, he wasn't going kids, though. but he wasn't going to kids, though. But he was blaming it on the kids. Throwing his daughters under the bus for this. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they left their yeah, daughter quarantined for 10 days, the girls. Now, but you know what happened with these 20 day, these $20,000 and $15,000 bills? It was people who subscribed to one of those asshole elect alternate electric bill because companies. because they weren't part of the reg, uh, federal uh, grid no, no, system that wasn't they, it. they had no they, they had a variable Marjorie, rate you're wrong they that, had no regulation Marjorie, listen to me that wasn't it what it, yes, was, it was they went with one of these uh uh other you know um wholesale wholesale companies yeah they went with the wholesale companies and the wholesale companies are charging back to them what the electric companies are charging them for the service during that period of time based yep. upon yeah so and it was it was because it was a variable rate contract yeah yes yeah yes which which is i my my power here in ohio all of a sudden my bills were getting kind of nutty and i couldn't figure out why it was costing me so much and I had been on a, a, a plan for years, they had supposedly had sent a note saying that they were, that it was no longer fixed that I had to renew every year. I never saw that notice. Oh, wow. And when I went back and, and, and said, why is my bill so high? I was paying three times the rate. Wow. But rather, rather than sit back on my laurels, I basically sent them a, a, a letter demanding back all of the money they ripped me off because they couldn't prove to me that they sent me the, the letters. I ended up getting a check for three thousand dollars from them to avoid going wow. to court. Wow! Wow! I just got a renewal letter from my place. It was twenty five percent cheaper than what I was paying. But now, you but you don't go with Con. You don't go with Con Ed. No, Con Ed farms out the electric kilowatt per hour, whatever they call it. Mm -hmm. So I was paying ten point eight cents per kilowatt hour. I'm now paying 8.2 percent, 8.2 cents. But your bill doesn't come through, the, your bill doesn't come through Con Ed, or does it? it no, it comes through Con Ed. Oh, okay. So, so they lowered your rate, is what they did. They lowered my rate. Oh. the energy charges. Gee, yeah. maybe they'll lower our charges, Marjorie. Who knows? What's your charge at your I house? Get mine through, 
Mine comes through a company called Constellation. Oh, oh, I see. All right. Ours comes through Con Ed. It comes through Con Ed. Do yeah. you remember, Alex? We tried one of those advertisements online. No, for the no, it was that. It was at our business manager told us to sign up for it. We signed right. up for it, and I suddenly noticed my rates went up. <laughs> I said, "What the hell is that about?" You know. But mine is cancelable. It's a two-year policy, but it's cancelable tomorrow <laughs> or a month from now. If yeah. you it's want, not like even though you, it's a fixed rate for two years, but you can cancel at any time. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see here. Well, uh, you know, I so you're gonna look at that. Uh, so don't worry, Charlie. You won't get the uh, ten thousand dollar. Bill. No, no, I'm not. Like, and the heat is on, Charlie. Yeah, yes, I do have heat. Guess Didn't what? have it for four days. Are you still wow. wrapped up down to nine degrees with no heat? Oh my God! Are you still wrapped up, Marjorie? <laughs> I'm. I am pretty much wrapped up. I was. I had my quilt on all day. Yeah, over. because because today was the day they decided to turn off the boilers. Because they're oh, doing nice. the fix it. No. Yeah. So, we have no hot water today. But how would that affect the heat, Alex? How would that affect the heat? They need yeah. the boilers. They need the boilers and the hot water in order to send stuff up through the uh, through the um, uh, radi or as you call them radiators. I'm from Philadelphia. It's radiator. <laughs> radiators. Radiator. Radiators. What when the radiators. sun beats Tomatoes. down on you, what is it doing? <laughs> It's radiating. It's radiating? No, I don't think so. Charlie, Charlie does it. Radiator. <laughs> you don't call it a radiator, do you, Charlie? Of no, no, no. Then again, you don't have radiators in Texas, do you? No. See? New York is one of the few places you, you can be sure you have radiators. I had a radiator in, uh, in San Francisco, in my apartments in San Francisco, but I never turned them on. Maybe it didn't never get. Yeah, you thought we didn't need them. Yeah, <laughs> most of them didn't need them. What are you? What are you doing, Marjorie? I'm trying to so it doesn't kill my legs. Hold the screen up. Oh, I see. So it doesn't kill your legs. Oh. Well, it's in between my legs. I'm on the bed, so Such it's looking straight. How's everything down in Georgia? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know. No problem it's, with the least the sun, the sun finally came out. Not here. Yeah. The uh, sun finally you... came out. Yeah. And my daughter told me she got water today. She's in College Station, Texas. So she hadn't had it for a whole oh, week. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They had had electricity back, you know, here and there. Mm -hmm. But the water, that yeah. was kind of gross. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. Kind of a struggle. But I can she got imagine. it. She texted me today and said she got it. Well, you know what the terrible part is? It must be for you, Charlie, is also it got hot again right it got warm again am i correct about that charlie or yeah it's supposed to be 72 today yeah and what, what <laughs> when it's 72? are you kidding <laughs> what's going to happen to all that snow i long for 72. 72 oh the snow is long gone the snow was melted on saturday yeah but how much uh, how much uh, wet how much water the water do you have out there because of that oh yeah it's well, just in the wrong place not in the pipes and of course your pipes yeah. went not in the pipes. <laughs> Not where you can use it. Edward, where are you again? <laughs> Fun and flushing. Yeah, and flushing. <laughs> That's right. You're right next. You're right. You're in Queens. Right? Right. My first husband was in flushing. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> husband number one, we lived in flushing on Main Street, off Main Street. Well, nothing uh, with Chinese people live there. Really? Yes. Well, now, now. Are you the last non Chinese person living in Flushing, as we call it now? I'm not in the Chinese. Well, yeah, the guy next to me is Chinese or something. <laughs> 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 yeah, Joe, what he is. He has those, you know, he has those little eyes. And, uh, one thing uh, I, I, the one thing I love about about flushing, and and Shecky turned me on to it. Flushing. It, 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 it flushing is uh, you took me to a place and you literally let me taste and get to enjoy and get to know what a uh, soup dumpling is. Go Shanghai. Shanghai. Go Shanghai restaurant. Oh, okay. Is it still was it in a big building that looked like an old movie house? It was real big. No, it was in a small building on I think it was 40th Road. 
off Main Street. Because my boss and his wife took Alex and they, they took we us to a, they took us to a very fancy, place. A yeah. very, a very fancy restaurant. Fancy, very nice. Flushing, uh, that was mm -hmm. uh, just, I mean, it was, it was used. It was a converted they, movie theater. No, but they also used it for like, you know, weddings and things yeah, like that. Yeah, but it used to be a movie theater. That's how it started out on Main Street. Oh, by the way, the governor's shiny coin last week, weddings. Banquets can go yeah. forward again. Huh. You can, there, yeah. there are places like that down in Chinatown too. The giant in some parlors where you could get soup dumplings and. Well, he, but what did they say on Saturday Night Live that he decided to legalize marijuana in the state of New York? So we'll forget about the nursing scandal. <laughs> <laughs> New Jersey announced today that they've legalized pot in New Jersey. Really? Um, yeah, it's been up. It's been talked about for a while. Well, he, uh, I think the reason the governor wants to do it here is because he doesn't want us going to New Jersey to get our pot. Mm. And we will. <laughs> we will. How can they not do it here? The city needs money. Well, but it's supposedly, when he, when is he going to legalize it? Immediately, right? I In New so. Jersey, I think immediately. No, but I mean, also here, it's supposed to be like next week or something. Really? We'll see. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy. Well, yeah, but the stores aren't going to be open for, you know, for a while. Six months or eight yeah. months. Although I'll bet they're ready to go. Yeah, probably. I'll bet they're ready to go. Well, the growers those are growing. shops or whatever they're called, the vape shops, I'm sure, are ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Remember when they became smoke shops and that's when they had all the hash pipes and the rolling papers? All those Optimo stores. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, but uh, uh, I think it'll take them a while to oh, get yeah. up and running. But uh, but we're gonna have legalized pot here, so I don't know how oh. much that does it mean anything to you, uh, Steve? Uh, are you a pot it, smoker? It, it, it means it means the world to me. It means, it means the world to me. <laughs> it really does. I mean, does it, it mean pot. anything to Shecky or me? It does to me. Yeah, you, you were never much of a pot smoker, if I remember, Shecky, right? I think once, and then once at your apartment in San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just stopped doing it. For some reason, one day, I just I lost all interest in it. Well, you do it at night when you can't sleep. Get a little, I take a toke to put me to sleep. I always leave a joint out for him. And then I can <laughs> smoke a little bit, and it'll put me to sleep. Yeah. I do it every day at three. But I, I do it for that uh, per personally <laughs> medicinal reasons. Yeah, right. <laughs> Have they legalized pot down in Georgia, Mandy? Not yet. I, well, maybe are they for, talking about maybe it? for medicinal? Y yeah. Well, that's how it starts. Yeah. Um, maybe possibly. I can't remember. Yeah, I, I just never like I would know that, but I, I never like the pharmaceutical usage of pot because it meant I had to have cancer before I could smoke it. <laughs> <Yeah. you know? laughs> and there was a heavy that's a heavy price oh, to pay. I could get it in New York because I'm eligible for medical marijuana, but if I did, I would have to give up the pain pills that I take. And I see a pain <laughs> doctor once a month. I'm not giving up those pills. I'll get the marijuana the way I get it. <laughs> Hello to Vernon Null, by the way, who has joined us today. What, hey, Vernon. What's happening Vernon, to you, hi. Vernon? Yeah. Really? Your, your mic's not working. Your mic isn't on. No voice. Oh, there you go. Wait a minute. Talk to us. Oh, no. No, we don't. can't hear you, Vernon. Vernon. Uh, Vernon, are you talking? Did you know the handle? Here, no, you're 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 mute. He's you're talking. not muted. It does. Yeah, you're mute. You're yeah. not yeah. muted. Yeah. He's not yeah. muted. Can you talk uh, now. Something wrong uh, with where he's getting his sound from. He's oh, got the go up mic. to uh, go up to the top of your uh, <laughs> your uh, thing there, where there's that green shield, and, and then hit go for preferences. And it's probably that your preference is not to your microphone. He knows what he's doing. You know. He's got all that other crazy. Nope. Yeah. I, wish, I wish the app would let me do it to where I could see everybody at one time. Yeah, yeah. me too. You can. I can't yeah. figure out how to have everybody go up to the top. Up to the yeah, where it says top. view. Up the very top, it says view. You see that? Yeah. On the app? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. right there. Go up go to the very the top, top left. it says view. Will it do it for a telephone? It might not because it's, it's on not a telephone. Not a phone. Uh, there's a, there's a more. Uh, 
And then it says you raise hand chat meeting meetings, meeting settings. Meeting settings. Try that. Always, and it just shows touch oh, up my appearance. Say show all. <laughs> Uh, okay. It says show name, show non-video participants, show self-view, show my connected time. Can you touch up my appearance? To, can you switch a, 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 a switch to video? Is there any video no. thing? Um, stop video, mute participants. You just list the participants out. It, it would be a button called view that would change. Yeah, yeah. 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 Marjorie, on the iPhone. Marjorie, Marjorie, yeah. Marjorie, you're doing this on an iPad. It should be similar to an iPhone. I'm on the iPad. And where it just like it's like I scroll, and as I scroll, then I can get four. Like I can yeah. get three people, like you, Shecky, and Mike, and then yeah, right on. And then the next three people and then the next three people and then if people are talking oh, they okay. come so you have to you have to yeah. you have to slide back and forth to get yeah all and okay. as people are talking they'll pop up but you do yeah it'll be a green light around it yeah yeah i'll figure that out i just don't have a microphone i don't I have a camera on my computer page, but if uh, people are watching and they're not calling can uh, you hear uh, me you now can, you can call. yeah no, hey, can there you. he is there you go hey there you are yeah I had, change, are. I had to change microphones uh, apparently one of them wasn't working the one i normally use wasn't working oh okay well sounds good mm. yeah well, i was good looking now. at uh, i was looking at the kentucky covid data and from january the 8th we had a seven day average of 4287 new cases and on february the 20th our seven-day average was down to 1,223. Oh, wow. That's it's going great. down everywhere. Yeah, it is. Everywhere That's is because down. we got past that whole Christmas thing. Yes, right. it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All I'm those super spreader events at the White there. House. Yeah, that too. Yeah. And the rallies. Yeah. And people are wearing masks more. The reporting, even in places they weren't before, more people yeah. are wearing them. Yeah. And more, and more people are getting vaccinated. Yep, that's that too. Yeah. What was I that? I wish I was. Whose phone? <laughs> not mine. No. Not mine. Not mine. No. I don't have a phone in here. It was mine. I thought I'd it. <laughs> Alex, do you have snow today? Yeah, we yeah. had. You know, we had the snow I love. It was about two hours. What it is, is it's not warm enough to really stick. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's warm enough that you get these big wet flakes, and they're really large flakes, and they and they, they have gorgeous. water in them. They look yeah, gorgeous. They're beautiful. Yeah. So we. That's what we had today. Two it hours. Was a lovely there. snow today. You know, it wasn't the kind where you go, "Oh my God, it's." Oh, I hate snow. Uh, we had the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Tell us how you really felt. Well, we got a lot of weather cold. coming your way, Alex, because it's it got up to forty degrees here today. Really? Yeah. Good. All Good. the snow's melting. Here too. It's going to be in the fifties tomorrow. Here too, uh, Jeff. Uh, how's it up in Connecticut? In Connecticut. Connecticut. Well, the uh, snow. The right guy right. just went by and <laughs> shoveled it. So mm. it's uh, there was enough snow that they had to shovel it. Yeah, you get here the, too. Here too. They well, you get a little bit more accumulation up there. Well, yeah, I'm also. I think I'm a little higher. Yeah, you are. Yeah. So yeah. Makes it colder. Yeah, but Alex, they had the, the snow removal uh, machines out today. Oh yeah, they had it. They, they there was nothing really sticking to the ground, but they still brought the, uh, the uh, machines and salt. Yeah, and mm. uh, you know, I'm trying to go to sleep at night when it's snowing, and all of a sudden these things go by scraping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember but, those. But at least it makes me feel. <clears throat> they, they 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 shovel your area, right, Shecky? Oh, 40 times a day. Yeah, yeah. Because what happened is mayors have had bad luck with snow and never got reelected based on yeah. snow accumulation. <laughs> like, remember Especially in New York with the outer boroughs. Is that true? Oh, yeah, that, that, yeah, that happened in Chicago too. too. That's a big issue up here. Listen, when it comes down to it, what does the public want a mayor to do? <laughs> Sweep the streets. Keep the streets clean of snow and garbage and everything else. And as long as you do that, they'll reelect you. Exactly. Am I right, Shecky? You get mm -hmm. as much money as you can. Yeah. 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 It's interesting because when the big scandal was out with the mayors, um, New York was getting shoveled, but it was areas in Queens and Brooklyn and the Bronx that weren't. 
So all the other well, that, was Lindsay, that was Lindsay. That's what took him out of the presidential yeah. race. Now, what, when's, our, when's, our, when's our next mayoral election here in New York, Shaki? I think it's this year. November. Yeah. November. This year? Yeah. So we'll be through with the Blasio. Oh, yeah. God. We're going to get that Asian piece of crap. Andrew Ooh. Young. Yeah, Andrew Young. Or Yang. No, the, Yang, don't, don't, Yang. Don't, don't, don't call him a piece of crap because he'll probably give us all a couple of thousand bucks a piece to vote for him. So, <laughs> you know. I mean, that's the way he was tr hoping he would get elected before. Was, um, every American's going to get a thousand dollars. Well, I got news for you. Our current president's trying to give us fourteen hundred dollars. So come <laughs> on, bid higher, bid higher. <laughs> I'm so tired of this year. I mean, it's enough already. Wait a minute. It's only February. Hold on a second. You were complaining about last year and could hardly wait till this year. God. However, 2020 seems to have stretched into 2021. No, it became 2021. Well, it's more like 2020 right now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well. Yeah, but you can go to the Nick game tomorrow night. <laughs> the practice? Oh, the basketball. Yeah. yeah. The game. Yeah. yeah, the actual game. The actual game. How many people are they letting into that? Ten percent. Thousand maybe. A thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. Seats about twenty-eight thousand, I think. Two thousand. And how much? Yeah. Twenty thousand. Twenty. I have an idea. Why don't we use that to also give the shots? <laughs> the While the game is going on. Why don't we get the vaccination first? Huh? Here's your beer, here's your hot dog, and here's your shot. Yeah. <laughs> Watch a game, get a shot. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember when, if you donated blood, they would give you a free theater ticket? No. No. <laughs> what show? What show, Shaggy? It would just be the Broadway Theater League. If you donated a pint of blood, you would get a ticket for some Broadway yeah. show. That. Probably Sweetie Todd, I would think. We got a cookie and some orange juice. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, it was always Annie. Yes. <laughs> I thought if it was related to Shecky, it, 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 you must be missing Broadway a lot. Because you used to yes and no. every Wednesday you were going to see. I, I, I never called you on a Wednesday because I knew you wouldn't be home. No, I agree with that, but there is so much stuff being streamed. Yes. Theater Big deal. Do you think Broadway will come back? Of course it will. Yeah. Sure. It, it's a kind of thing that is so unique in and of itself. To it's New like, York, especially. It's that many of the shows need tourists because the locals ain't paying 200 bucks. That's right. 300 bucks. <laughs> right yeah. now. That's right. Absolutely. You know, they need someone from Oklahoma who wants to come and see Oklahoma. Chicago or something. <laughs> Oklahoma to see Oklahoma. Yeah. There's a redundancy for you. Boy. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. So there was some Broadway show, the name of which now I can't remember. Yeah. That was about to go into previews when all this hit a year ago. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. And they canceled to 2022. It was going to star Army Hammer. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. The cannibal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, oh, thank God. We, we, got, we lucked out. We don't have he, to. He gave, I like, he gave I like to eat you an entirely different meaning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I just got the uh, reminder on Facebook. I was at Hamilton one year ago today. Speaking of broad, yeah, my sister got tickets to Hamilton for in so Atlanta right before, and right didn't get the to virus. Go. It must have been the week or two before they locked us down. Yeah, they locked down the second week in March, if I remember. Yeah. My right. last day at the office was March 11th. It was a Wednesday, and my two bosses on Friday. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah, our last umpire game was March 13th. <laughs> My last day of being alone was a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Since then, it, it, I think it's a testament to Marjorie and I 
that we have spent the last year almost spent last every single it. day with each other and we <laughs> yeah. have yet to try and kill each other. What's really? nice is we're in a large apartment so we can go our own way. Yeah. Well, I've said to you, if you were still on Canal Street and not on Houston, you oh, would yeah. Oh, we'd be, yeah. We'd be, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we would be hanging be, off that statue. What was the Stalin on the top of the building? <laughs> no, that was, uh, that was uh, Lenin. Lennon. Lennon. Really? Yeah. Not McCartney? No, we, no, we, no, we have this, uh, we live in this building called Red Square. And apparently, you know, the Soviet Union was having a going, uh, Russia, the Soviet Union was having a going out of business sale. <laughs> and these people bought this giant brass statue, which is about maybe, I'd say 12 feet, 15 feet. Yeah, tall, yeah, yeah, yeah. And put it on top of the roof. <laughs> and I hear they've taken it down, though. I hear yeah. they've taken it down, which is a shame. It was a wonderful, it was a great thing for me to say, by the way, when you're coming to see me, look for the building with uh, Lenin on the top. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it was described to me when I went to go see the apartment. And I looked, oh, there he is. Okay. You know, that was called Red Square. I went, what's yeah. better than that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Shecky's right. If we were I still in that you. apartment, we'd be dead. Yeah, no, I mean, in front of the McDonald's is a statue of Lenin. And, and we're leaving, living in an apartment this uh, this big that we rented when I was still working at Sirius XM. And we figured our combined incomes would uh, would pay for it, right? And it's 25 I, then I suddenly, square feet. Then I was, oh, suddenly, wow. I, I was suddenly fired. I remember when and, you and at the same time, yeah. a whole bunch of things happened where we wound up not having to pay uh, any rent for this apartment. Yeah. So we're still in this place rent free for nine years, going on the ninth year. What? Just, why are you talking about <laughs> it? Never gonna resolve it. No, don't jinx it. No, no, no. We they know about it. They know. About I mean, we've been in court for nine years. Believe me, we've spent. Has it already been nine years since you moved? Yeah, yes, and, and over ninety thousand in, in, in lawyer fees. That's what? cheaper than the rent. Oh, God. I can't That's believe it's been that long ago. Yeah, yeah. That's depressing. But I mean, <laughs> well, it, and, me and, and and the the owners the owners don't want to don't want us to have to pay up on this. Right, they want to settle. Well, they know it's not they don't want to sell. They told me they didn't never blamed us for what went right. on. And so it's a three party suit. It's a three party you know, suit. They, they want to get it out of the guy who rented us the apartment. But the wow. nice part about it, it's big enough so we can go our own way yeah, when yeah. we're locking horns and it works. And by the way, the rent, in all deference to the, uh, to the owners, uh, who should be, uh, who a lot of people complain about the, the you know, the, renters or the guys who own the apartment but they have done everything to keep us happy i mean we called the uh, the, the super he's here in a second to fix because he gets a lot of money from us but the well, owners are gone of, the owners are gone they're they're the worst well, people in the world say that they're the they've they've been, they've been, they've been good to, the worst been, the absolute worst marjorie I'm shut Jewish. up they've been good to us they've been I'm good Jewish, to us. so i can say it no they've been good to us They've been good to us because we've never caused problems and we heavily tip. No, but we don't tip the landlords. Well, we tip the <laughs> you know, It's like my lawyers, when we were in court, my lawyers, I got buddy, buddy with the, with the landlords, right? I talked to them and talked to them about stuff and so on. And my lawyer said to me, don't have anything to do with them. They're the landlords. Uh, and I went, you know, when this whole thing is over and you're gone, they're still here. Yeah. I have to deal with them then. And so and, are we. So I want to be able to be on good terms with them. That's all. The nice thing is when Alex and I get old enough, we can put a cap on our rent. And our rents are rent stabilized. And the land, the last time the Ghanifs registered it in 1990, it was $400 a month. It's a part so they, of have to, they have to go from there. It, for rent stabilization it's, fees, it's five hundred dollars a month. Five hundred dollars a month, and our lawyers figure would be something between fifteen hundred and two thousand in New York. Wow. That's a steal. That's that's a steal. Well, technically, technically, you could actually argue that they would have to, because they didn't register this apartment until two thousand twelve. So they have to go back to the last time they registered. Yeah, 
So they have to go back to the 400, start at the 500. And, and start from there. But, you know, we're, who's arguing? If we could get it for 2,000 a month, we're happy. If we can get it for free, that's even better. I mean, what are you paying for yours, Charlie, in Texas? I pay $850 a month. And you're where? Many what, bedrooms. In what city in Texas? Oh, Austin. 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 Yeah. How many cool. bedrooms, Charlie? One bedroom, yeah. 500 square feet. Okay. Yeah. So our apartment's five times your size. So we should be paying five times what you pay. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you know. Austin, um, the New York factor. What are rents like down there, uh, Mandy? I pay for like an 800 square foot one bedroom. I pay like 1250. Okay, so buddy, and uh, that's about what we pay here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how, well, I won't ask Shecky. He has a house. It was paid <laughs> for a long time ago. Um, but uh, and it, it that's a nice house you got there. But the minute you move out of there, if you moved out of there, they'd tear the thing down and turn it into one of these. Mm oh, absolutely. But that's where I'll get my money. Not that I'm going to leave, but yeah, yeah. Whoever yeah. I deed the house to will get the money. Well, I mean, if let's say you left there arbitrarily, you'd have to move somewhere else. And that would be costing you whatever you paid to get out of this place. Yeah. Right. So, so there's no reason to do that. Right. There's no reason to do it. They, they you know, they, they, there are people around there drooling, real estate people, because it's a nice plot of land. It's what, about an acre? What is it? No, yeah, I think it's a quarter acre, maybe a little yeah. more. But, but it's a corner house. And I think, not that I ever looked into it, you could probably put two houses or one giant McMansion onto it. Mm. Yeah. So, um, uh, you know, Shecky, Shecky. As you've seen, there's a backyard, the side yard, the other side yard, a large front lawn. So there's a lot of. Yeah. yeah. A lot of green. A lot of green. Which will all be built on. Because you can just you build that from the side. It's a nice old Queen's home. I've yeah. been there. Yes, it's lovely. Yeah. And yeah. it's pretty close to the subway, isn't it? Yeah. It's a uh, 15 minute walk, or I can park it in front of the former president's house. And then walk three minutes to the subway. Yeah, we every time I go out to see him, we pass Trump's place. His, uh, his, his uh, boyhood uh, home. Boyhood home. Well, he yeah. had two boyhood oh. homes, and the other one is in back of this one. Right. You showed me right. the first one, and then you showed me, of course, the second one, which is this giant. Which looks like Monticello. Yeah, it looks like Monticello. Wait, Vernon. isn't it nice not to see his face or hear him? Yeah, well, did Daddy Trump buy the, build that home? Probably. Did Trump's father build that home? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Because it's in bad enough taste. <laughs> you know, it, it, because you're saying... No, the original like house looks cellar. like the neighborhood yeah. of that block. Yeah. And then on the other side where he built the house, it looks nothing like the surrounding home. Right, right. 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 So he built both houses. What? He built both houses. No, no, the other one they had moved into. They moved into, okay. They bought. Well, you got to remember, he was a real estate developer, so he had all the wherewithal to be able to build his own house. Yeah, so also they, remember they had a slew of apartments in Queens that wouldn't sell to Blacks, and uh, Trump and his father. Yeah. yeah. But then he also had all the apartments in the bad, that he turned into bad neighborhoods that he was more than happy to allow the Black gentlemen and mm -hmm. women to live in. By the way, they were complaining on Saturday Night Live that Tom, uh, Ted Cruz was wearing a, uh, a, a Texas he was. Mask. He was. mask. They he said was. it's kind of like Ivanka and uh, uh, Jared. What, what's his name? Uh, Ivanka and Jared, Jared, Kushner. Jared Kushner are moving back to New York and wearing yeah. I Love New York t shirt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're talking about uh, Ivanka and asshole. Yeah, <laughs> and use the proper terminology. It's work. rectum. And they said well, that even if they were an invited, to, well, that, uh, no, we they don't said even if they were invited to some of these socialite to... dinners, yeah. they would go and then they would talk about them behind their backs. So yeah. they're really not wanted back in New York. Steve, how's it down around uh, the Union Square? Exactly the same as, you know, as it was for the as it's been for the past 
year. I mean, there's a, I miss the market. Is the market still open? The market's yes. Free. Yeah, we do the market a lot. And, I got to um, get down there when I get my shots. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I um, um, the thing about uh, uh, about down there is that I guess you have everybody's wearing masks. Yeah, everywhere I mean, you, you go. Very rarely see yeah. anybody. Here, yeah. here for a while, I thought everybody was starting to wear masks. And then I went out yesterday, and it was like I was going, you know, running. A no, every time I go out, most of the people are masked. Well, uh, not not yesterday. Well, that was yesterday. <laughs> Did you read Gwyneth Paltrow's column where she's taking credit for people wearing masks because they're <laughs> following Ooh. her? Oh, uh, really? Gwyneth Paltrow. Uh, he started wearing a mask last February, and everyone copied what she was doing. No, I don't think her mask. She, she's a trender. Did you ever see her website? Like her Did you ever see Goop? Goop. What? That's her, her website. website, is Goop. Is Goop? Yeah, it's called yeah. Goop. Well, that's the one where she sells a candle called, this candle smells like my vagina. Yeah. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Does yes, she does. Yes, she does. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> Did you guys ever watch that show on Netflix, though, called The Politician? I don't yes. think so. She was really good in that. I, I mean, I still think she's a good actress. Well, that, that could be, but yeah. I don't know. She's a weird actress. She, she had a documentary show on Netflix of all of these weird, holistic, you know, medicine things with no proof. Right, the documentary is the glue. Yeah. Terrible if you bought one of those, my mm -hmm. if this candle smells like my vagina, and you light it and flies start circling. <laughs> 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 it's when the cat runs in the room, did you know? Yeah. I mean, and we all know how she won her Oscar, but that's another story. Yeah, well, that's but her website is all these things that no middle class person can afford. I, I mean, it's all these high end perfumes and oils and clothing, stuff yeah. that that you just really well, would just came out with a new dildo. Yeah. And I think it has, I'm not joking. I think it has 30 different speeds. Really? Yeah, I hear 26 is really, I hear, hear 26 is really good. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't go to 31. Uh, one, one faster, yeah. How much well, is they it have one that does 31, but it's called the Baskin Robbins. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> yeah, well, it, go, it goes to 31. It's one more. How much does she get for a vagina candle? What do they cost? Well, the candle is $89. Really? Yeah. Wait, let me hold on. Let me look at the price tag. Here. How, how am I guaranteed? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. How, how am I guaranteed that it smells like her vagina? Here, I'll light it yeah. up right now. <laughs> wait, uh, her uh, no, that, that's her. That's your my yort site candle. Like I'm, I'm checking the tag on the bottom here. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. <laughs> Oh wow! Come on, she's an influencer. They're very that's important right. people. <clears throat> that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Oh boy! How do we? Forty-seven dollars. I think I'll pass. How much? What did you say? Forty-seven dollars. Oh, probably much more. Oh, probably it's bargain. Was it? I think they're temporarily out of stock. They ran out of the raw material. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just no. It I, always I, seems to be out of stock. She, you know, this is part of the, the shell game she plays. But that, but that, all, there are only so many like times. Like vibrator, it is there only so many it, times she can't, she, can't buy it. It's out of stock. Shelby, Maybe. the reason it's out of stock, there's only so many times in a given day she can squat on a candle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the I'm all kidding. Is this real? No, they, I, I, listen, oh, no, it's Marjorie real. Says, I don't know. That's like, that's like a website, it. Mandy. Have you yeah, seen it, Mike? It. Okay, I'm going to go right now. Oh, yeah. yeah it's called Goop. G O O. Goop. I heard, I heard her interviewed about it. And what she said was that they were smelling a whole bunch of different candles. And she jokingly said, This one smells like my vagina. And someone said, Okay, we'll, we'll call it that. <laughs> it doesn't and how much do you know what her vagina it. smells like? Is she a able to get down there on I mean, her own? She's got a cardigan on here for $600. <laughs> Who wears right. a sweater that's $600? A $600 sweater? Yeah, I, I, a cardigan for $595. Everything on her website is expensive. You should see the oils and the and the paste and the makeup. Me, a cleanser is $48. Yeah, yeah. For like how many ounces? Let's look. Yeah, well, no one's going to buy it in-, in Five in, ounces. Yeah, in, in a middle class, you're not going to buy that. A woman needs money. 
and it's called yeah. Goop Beauties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Goop husband sexist. hasn't been working during the, uh, you know. Oh. You get a subscription, you say four dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No mailing costs. The only yeah. time I was ever happy to see Gwyneth Paltrow is when her head was in the box in seven. <laughs> and they even have a payment a payment plan for face cleanser. Plan. That's pretty bad. She's <laughs> making a fortune on that. No, I'm oh boy. Oh boy. Is that your phone? No, I liked her in the politician. I thought yeah. she was... You know, she could use the dildos, put a wick in them, and then sell them as candles. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know. I want to look to see. Is it would be accessories? Yeah. No, yeah. No. Wait. Food and home, excuse me. Just, yes, just do a yes. search for vagina. Um, cocktail, sweets, detox, keto, vegetarian, Candle. vegan, gluten for candles, decorating and design. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, I still. Candle. Well, look up. Just type in under search vagina candle. No, just type <laughs> candle. <laughs> Candles. Oh. It's not. It's, Here, I, I found it. It's seventy. It's seventy-five dollars. Wait, hold on. Oh, there's what? another what the one. Things? This smells like my orgasm. She said <laughs> that. Here it is. <laughs> That's the first one, and there, there it is. is. This smells like my vagina candle. Seventy-five dollars. <laughs> seventy-five dollars. Of course. I can. Or you could get four cheap. interest what? payments of eighteen seventy-five. Let me ask Shecky, who is my historian on films. In the history of films, has there ever been anything like this now? Was there a, a Marjorie Maine candle that smells like her <laughs> vagina? Yeah. You can do a no, there was, was for a candle. Like a candle. <laughs> what? $75. 75 bucks. For a vagina what'd, candle. What, what'd you say, Rick? I said there was one that smelled like pot kettle, but then I was thinking more of Chill Wills. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, wait, I, got, I got to read this to you, Alex. Hold on. Just, yeah. With, with a funny, gorgeous, sexy, and beautiful, unexpected scent. The candle is made with geranium. <laughs> it goes into the ingredients. Unexpected. Bergamot and cedar absolutes juxtaposed with damask rose. I'll bet. That <laughs> and candle, the I'll, bet I'll bet you any amount of money that candle is the best-selling item on her site. Just because people yeah. want to have it so it's sitting around the house because it says it on the... It's on a the conversation candle. piece. I, I want to read the warnings of what not to do with it. <laughs> yeah don't burn it near something that can catch fire okay you know, give me the candle i want to go in the other room to masturbate <laughs> <laughs> uh, do not burn for more oh, wait, than two wait. hours they have, time. have a votive for 20 dollars if you they, want to they money. have what it, they have this smells like my vagina votive is $20. yes for what's, 20. A, what's a votive a little little glass little. jar candle oh okay small. They have one that smells like your orgasm and it's, also one that smells like your prenup. It's the candle that you light for, it's the candle that you light every year in memory of your dead relative. Right. Yeah, hey, for, dad's next you say, York, for dad's next year site, he's getting your site. Vagina. This it's one a, I may ask for my this your site smells like my vagina. <laughs> they have a roll-on perfume for forty-five dollars that's one smells like yeah, my orgasm. Know, when I take the show and I put <laughs> that's it up going on my YouTube. birthday list. When I take the show and I put it up on YouTube. And I want to monetize it. I want to see what happens. Hey, 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 Alex, there's another candle. This candle smells like my prenup. I'm not yeah. making that. <laughs> Which husband? Which husband? This this smells like my orgasm. They have that one, and they have that in a roll on. It's what? Yeah, it smells like a roll on. Roll -on. <laughs> I told you, I'm putting it on my birthday list. It's forty five dollars. Here we. Yeah. Oh, Shecky, what have movies come to? You know. What does life come to? Oop, I lost it. What has goop? life come to? This is the real thing we're living. Yeah. This is it right here. What, what is that? This smells like my vagina roll on, $45. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I could ask for that probably and somebody give it to me. <laughs> Alex, did you tell everyone that you just, wait, you just purchased? What? Oh. Ta da. Well, the ca camera they're looking no, at. The no, 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 on the floor camera. behind oh. you. What? On the floor behind you. Oh, the green screen. He got a green screen, oh. Angel. Yeah, but I won't. He hasn't set it up yet. It's been sitting there for a week. Uh, uh, yeah. Two weeks. Well, I have to figure out what to do with it. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> if anybody, I'll help you out. This is going to be fun. If anybody wants to buy a green screen, you know. <laughs> you know. Uh, but it uh, it's really cool. It just. 
pulls up, pushes yep. down. Good. Well, you've got that down. Now, what's the next step? Uh, to, I, 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 well, I showed it to you. I got it working. I know, but I haven't seen anything on it. You haven't done a show with it. Well, what I did have to do was I had to buy this camera, which is somewhere along the line, I'm going to have to like adjust a little more. Uh, but because if I hold my hand up, see that happens, that shouldn't be happening. Anyway, changes the light. Uh, well, because I've, I've got it set, so probably it was set to exposure. But anyway, the problem, the point is, is that I, um, I found I needed two of my high end cameras over here. So I moved it from there over to here. And then I sent away for a new one. I ordered it. It came in like one day. And now Amazon, if you go onto their site, actually shows you where in the neighborhood they are. The yep. truck is. And they deliver like in New York City. Away. Two stops yeah. away, three stops away, whatever. And then um, uh, when they deliver it, they take a picture of it yep. delivered. Unfortunately, it's not in front of your door. Yes, that's happened many times. They you know, show us thank a picture, you for sending it's me not a picture of where it is. Would you mind taking a shot of the door so I can see where in the building it is? Turns out they put it in the first floor, not even where they put the rest of the boxes. They put it against a column. And there was a photograph of it there. You know, thank you so much. <laughs> they deliver now in New York City. Well, that's, I think in other cities, that's, too. That's, well, mo most of my deliveries lately have been Amazon. Oh, I got one yesterday. The truck pulled up at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. The guy came out of the truck, put it on the porch, took a picture. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the thing is, what's interesting is, is that it, it really, they do, they do get them here fast. I mean, except I, they've made a lot of mistakes. No, but I ordered so something. I ordered something about a week ago at like midnight and it was here the next day at like two in the afternoon. Well, that's because it's coming from one of the New York centers. Yeah. From yeah. where yeah. Well, they have fil fulfillment centers all the way around the country. Probably have one in New Jersey. Not everything is at every fulfillment center. Yeah. 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 But anyway, I mean, it's amazing how fast they're getting this stuff. This was supposed to come Sunday. It came Saturday. But Alex, look at all the problems I've had with the Amazon delivery. Wrong door. <laughs> so Two of the no, same. Oh, they never thing. deliver it to the right door. Well, no. they try to deliver. To, they do like to deliver to the door, but in this building, they don't want to go up eight floors. It's just too much work for them to get into an elevator and push a button. <laughs> yeah. So I've never had any problem with Amazon. Len LaFrisco has been on the phone with somebody. Um, Len, are you there? Can you hear us? Uh, He's got his mute on. Yes, yeah, his mute on. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Hi. Len, you've been. Uh, Sorry, I was on the phone. I was getting the job offer. You were, <laughs> oh. You were, okay. Well, we're free of you. <laughs> I hope it was a good job offer. It, it is a good job offer. I'll be working for the University of Southern California here, remote from home. Yeah. Oh, and, wow. uh, yeah. So that'll be kind of cool. Yeah. What will you be teaching? Oh, not teaching. No, I'm project manager, program manager for their IT department. Wow, how great. Yeah. Good, good, yeah. good. Well, at least somebody here is working. So, oh, so you know, <laughs> if I don't, if I can't show up every Monday from now on, you'll have to accept Let's my see. How many people here are working? Well, working. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, she's working. Right you're now. not working. <laughs> I'm getting a check from the company. From which uh, oh, from your private company that you own. I get a W two. Yeah, but that's not you. Do you go over there and sit there and manage? No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> what kind of company is it, Rick? It's a film archive company. They, they, they. Well, they, well, they, they ever have softball games? They ran out of footage. They ran out of footage. Right? Is oh, that cool. the best way you describe it? We license archival footage to media and companies yeah. so, for use in projects. So if you need a, a video of a eagle carrying a baby, uh, he's got it. Somewhere. You've seen it on the Letterman show. <laughs> the cat washing the monkey must still be a big seller. <laughs> Was the cat washing a monkey or monkey washing a cat? Monkey washing a kitty. A kitty, yeah. I never saw that. What well, now? Now here, this is a, it, this is amazing because he's collected films all his life, and what they did is they started this company from the various collections, um, 
And he can tell you now exactly where cat, uh, uh, monkey washing a cat comes from. The Warner Path A Newsreel. And it was called Those Amazing Pets or something like that? Or? No, it was just one of their newsreels. And that was one of the interstitials in that 10 minute newsreel. Wow. Because it always had those little silly stories. At the end. Of, the end. You know, At the end. It just bombed Dresden. And now here's a monkey washing a kitty. <laughs> yeah. And that that particular that particular clip, I think, was maybe the most popular clip on Letterman. Well, eventually it turned into Harry Smith's colonoscopy by the end. That, yeah. that clip. Harry Smith's colonoscopy? Yeah, where they were going through the cave. <laughs> and then <laughs> everyone's calling you. Know, hey, I had a call Dave, Dave quote. I had a colonoscopy today. Here, take a look. And it's the same clip. <laughs> person he needed I put a photograph of my colonoscopy on my Facebook page once kind of an asshole move I know it was <laughs> <laughs> it was just interesting when I always 1230 that afternoon Steve Young calls me and says we need a clip of people in pith helmets carrying torches in a cave we want that to be Harry Smith's colonoscopy <laughs> And I just start like, you know, I'm looking in, I'm in the tape room and I look at my friend Randy, go like, what the hell? I call the office 30 minutes later, I had the, this clip. Huh. That's and, funny. And where did it come from? Some jungle movie? A German film from like 1962. Really? Son of a bitch. But I just called him and said, look, this, I know this is ridiculous. So if you ever need any, any footage for that your little like project, this. you know who to call. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, and it, it's been a, it's been good little business for you, right? A gold mine. Oh, gold mine. Okay, <laughs> that would be defined as a good little business. Yeah, that's a nice little, little job. But it still it has changed the business because of YouTube, okay. where the young people now know how to find what I always joke the um, Hindenburg exploding. But in 1982, no one knew how to find that. Oh, so you became so the we go get the phone call, we get the money. Yeah, right. Because you knew where to go to get it. Now you just pop into search in YouTube and pop in Hindenburg and steal it and they would use it. YouTube you know, so has everything, any subject you can imagine. I have actually gone online to look for stuff that was so obscure, it's all there now, Shecky. I've gone for I mean, menus, you know, uh, recipes. Yeah, but I mean oh, yeah. If I, there. Well, if I put yeah. it right now, uh, uh, monkey washing a cat, I'm sure that clip will come. Oh, up. the long version is there. The long version. I just <laughs> looked it up. <laughs> what? Is it there? I just looked it up. It's there. Yeah. What does it say? What Under what title? Under monkey oh. washing a cat. <laughs> we have to look at it. I've never it's, seen it. Never seen the, long, the long version seconds. has the monkey bringing in the kitty up to the sink. We never use that part of it. Yeah. You just ran that and everybody laughed and then you were on. We the just hit the part where he was already in the sink being washed. Yeah. I want to see it. Yeah. Oh, here, uh, here, oh, there, there it is. is. There it is. Yeah, and he's down there. there. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the exact clip, isn't it, Chucky? Oh, my God. Look at that. There he is. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, Andrew. I'm missing it. You're going to have it. to oh, me to use that. The monkey washing the cat. <laughs> This is the extended version. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Thank Check you, Andrew. You, Thank you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't own that footage, do you, or do you? It's public domain. It's public yeah, that's domain. What I thought, yeah. It's just that if he didn't I know where to get, get it, it they he have... knows where to access it. No, right, 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 about right. the business, Lynn, is you don't have to go looking. You call this company and say, we yeah. need this, and they know where to go. Yeah. Right. Huge time saver. A lot of film researchers at TV shows are kind of called, including me, lazy. They'd rather right. spend the company's money and not have to do the work. So right. they would call us. Yeah. How is this, how quickly, because we're, we're running out of time here, but how, how has COVID and YouTube and so on affected your business? We still pay our bills. The girls alternate, but one of them comes to the office every day, even though they don't have to. And we don't require it, but yeah. they like coming into the office. Okay. But but what I'm saying is 
that YouTube hasn't killed your business. No. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Because I, I know what YouTube has done. It has killed the high end archival companies, the ones who had massive overhead I and see. paid themselves ridiculous salaries and yeah. bought sports cars and yeah. whatever. We never did that. Vernon's got his hand up. Yes, Vernon. I just wanted to report. I got my second Pfizer shot on oh, Saturday. Fuck you. Oh, good. We're going <laughs> to Sunday. I'm just telling you so that you can know what to expect. Sunday, I basically vegged out because I felt like CRAP. Hey, hold it's on. Bill, Bill Gates is calling me to tell me where you are. But I <laughs> hey, I got to reschedule he doesn't, mine. He doesn't need that. I've got this. So, it, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Just, yeah, the chip's yeah. more fun. Well, the thing is, the thing is that uh, supposedly the younger you are, the worse the second shot is. The older you are, it isn't as bad. I was just eight. I mean, I didn't it have a headache or yeah. any of that yeah. stuff. I'm, but... I'm, I'm ready for that. I don't mind vegging. I veg okay. out anyway. What? I, I'm going to veg out from this. So She's yesterday, getting... a friend of mine called to get an appointment for her husband at 1030 Sunday morning. And they said, could you be at the Javits Center at 3.30? He has an appointment. Wow. 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 Amazing. Amazing. Wow. And and she Chucky's, couldn't get one for a month. Checking's getting his uh, a second Thursday. Call, Thursday. And then I will call you and find out how you're feeling. And, how and we're it, going Saturday. And I went over to see if there was a line at our place the other day on a Saturday. And certainly there was. So. But you spoke to the girl. And you spoke to the nurse. I have a line at that point was a half hour, she said. Mm. Okay. I'd, I would rent a wheelchair and then you can cut the line. You know, there that's you I was not thinking, a bad uh, idea. Or get crutches. That's a great, I have crutches. <laughs> there you go. Oh, do crutches count? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, Wrap your I, leg. Hmm. Wrap get the crutches out here. Yeah. We're going to go get our shot. <laughs> <laughs> We're preparing. Yeah, I've got to help my wife in. She's on crutches. Yeah. Go right in, sir. As soon as I get the shot, I'll walk out of the place. Yeah. Dancing. <laughs> it looks it look like I just went it's to Lourdes. You know. I'm yes. cured. I'm cured. <laughs> I'm cured. We're running out of uh, we're running, we've run completely out of time. We are actually running over. Rick, thank oh. you for being here. Mike, thank you for being here. Steve, Edward, Andrew, Lynn, Mandy, Marjorie, Jeff, Charlie, Vernon. There are 12 of us here. This wow. is good. This is I love this show. I just great like, Monday. Like, thank you, Alex. Great, a great Monday show. Thank yeah. you all. Everybody, wave bye-bye. Thanks for the tip on the candles. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>